Today we are in New Bedford to check out the Whaling Museum. And the first thing I noticed about this place is the fishing boats that are pretty, pretty awesome here. Right across the street from the Whaling Museum, which is right over there, is the Moby Dick Brewing Company. So that's where we're at. I have got the Quick Eternity. Amanda's got herself a little, I don't even know. Pina Colada Sangria. Okay, that seems like a combo and they have, what do you think? What do you guys have? And they have Bluey. So we're gonna enjoy this. Some clam chowder, obviously. And we're gonna go walk down that way over to the where all the fishing ships are, which are pretty cool. Okay, New Bedford might be one of my new favorite cities. Awesome food, awesome drinks. Awesome ice cream, awesome boats, awesome town. It's pretty high up on my uh, favorite places that we've been to. How about you? Oh. Very good, very cute. I like it's how. The best day ever. There's a say that about everything. Pier area. I don't even know what you would call it. Marina by the terminal, and they have a little food shack where you can get clams and lobster. They have a little creamery right here. I would show you what they have, but we all already ate our ice cream. Well, somebody still has some. Marshmallow flavored, and I got purple cow. This is a free playground right over the bridge from New Bedford. Uh, I believe it's it's called the Marine Park. It might be called Fish Island. I'm not sure if this is the actual island or not. But here's a bunch of people living in their boats because they have a little like welcome center and laundry and uh, I guess like a clubhouse right over here. playground itself is really cool. There's like amusement ride type of uh, things here at this playground. And you can't beat this view. I'll get out of the view so you can enjoy the better view. Beautiful view for me while the kids play. I'll take it any day of the week. So our time here at Gateway to Cape Cod has come to an end. Whew. We do a lot while we were here. Raining the past couple of days here, which has made it very muddy. And this place is just all sand, all dirt, pine needles, and sap. So if you don't want sap on your RV, on your truck, don't come here because it is everywhere. I'm talking about like hundreds of little drops of sap everywhere. And we're not even directly, I mean, I have all that opening above me, but whatever. We had fun, not too much here at the campground, but outside of here in Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard, Plymouth, there's a ton of stuff to do here, New Bedford. So tonight I'm breaking everything down. I just cleaned off the uh, rug out there and we're gonna make some burgers on the grill tonight. So I'm getting the fake uh, Blackstone prepped and ready to go. I still have to rinse a few things off, but we'll get to it. Dump the tanks later tonight and then uh, just be ready to head out of here tomorrow. So when we leave here tomorrow, we're going to uh, Winter Island Campground. Uh, I think it's a county park, city park in Salem, Massachusetts. So we are going there so we can do the Hocus Pocus tour. Uh, we're going to see all the places where Hocus Pocus was shot at. Um, we're in the area. We all love Hocus Pocus as a family. Hocus Pocus 2 comes out this year. So um, maybe I'll have everything edited to come out in time for Hocus Pocus. That would be my plan. Uh, for now, we're just going to get everything broken down, get ready to leave tomorrow. This is what I've been doing with the mats. I've just been uh, kind of 
cleaning them all off and then drying them off on here. It's not the uh, greatest of ways to do things, but it works. Ingenuity, you need to have it while you're RVing. So while I'm cooking these burgers, we're gonna enjoy a nice uh, IPA from the Moby Dick Brewery that you saw earlier in this video.